My gal lives on the other side of town in a little old shack that's most broken down. Scratched up nose and skinned up knees, but her daddy thinks she's too good for me. Open that gate, open that gate for me, open that gate, and let me come right on in. Hi, we are in the studio today with guitarist, singer, and band leader John England. John has performed and recorded with many artists such as Loretta Lynn, uh, the Pointer Sisters, Andy Griggs, Rodney Crowell, and Pianosaurus, which is very interesting. He also freelances um, and performs with many groups around Nashville, including um, the Western Swingers, which he fronts, and they perform every Monday night um, on Lower Broad at Roberts. So, John, tell us how you got started playing music. Well, I always liked music, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, I had the encouragement of my mother, who was very musical, mm. and uh, some great public school music teachers. Great. Uh, especially Roy Thompson and uh, uh, Walt Anslinger and Tom Berkner. Huh. Yeah. Now, did you go to college for music? I did. I went to Indiana University and mm -hmm. studied jazz with David Baker. Okay. Uh, my degree is in arts and sciences, but uh, David mm. was real nice and uh, helpful. That's wonderful. While you were in Indiana, um, you started with your first band, is that right? Uh, yeah, I started playing professional gigs as a freshman in college, nice. and uh, I got hooked up with a group, uh, an R&B group, that really became my first professional experience. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a band called Kilo, Okay. and uh, we were kind of the thing there in the Bloomington, Indiana area for nice. a while. Yeah. <laughs> John, tell us about your time in New York. I know you spent about nine years there, right? Yeah, uh, after I'd uh, been in, in, in Bloomington for a while mm -hmm. and I was playing, you know, wedding bands sure. and uh, the, the kilo thing had been, you know, a more professional mm -hmm. type mm -hmm. situation. Uh, then I said, well, let me go to New York and see what could happen. And yeah. Uh, so about uh, 1988, I moved there and I got involved with the band Piano Source. Okay. Was on, they were on Rounder Records. Cool. And, uh, I went to Japan and toured the United States with them, and uh, we were in a movie called New York Stories. Mm -hmm. uh, had some big directors in it. Um, and then uh, I, I found myself, the band kind of broke up, and I, what am I going to do? Mm. And I saw these guys playing guitar in the subway. Mm -hmm. I thought, maybe I could do that. <laughs> a friend of mine had an amplifier that had a battery. It was battery power. Oh, nice. And uh, so I went down there, and I, I would play little, uh, you know, little chord <laughs> melody, sort of jazzy things, and people would smile, and I'd get a quarter every once in a while. At the time, I only knew how to sing two songs. Okay. And I sang Hello, Mary Lou by Ricky Nelson, and I made a dollar. <laughs> I said, hmm. And then I sang Johnny Be Good by uh -huh. Chuck Berry, and I made two dollars. Nice. And so that light bulb went off right <laughs> in my head right then. And I went back to the apartment uh, mm. that day and learned as many rock and yeah. roll songs as I yeah. could. And uh, what happens is once you start to learn a bunch of songs, then I was playing in some original bands with people, and this guy said, hey, I play in this cover band, and the mm -hmm. guitar player's out this weekend. You know a lot of songs. Why don't you come in and yeah. front the band? And, uh, well, pretty soon you're working with other folks, yeah, too. Yeah, that's and great. So I did a lot of that in New York, playing. Uh, I played in the Cafe Wah house band mm -hmm. down at Greenwich Village. It's kind of a well-known place. Yeah. And, uh, 
Uh, I played in a lot of society orchestras okay. for parties and uh, events. And, uh, that was really a great experience mm -hmm. for me. Yeah. I bet. Um, so here in Nashville, you front the band The Western Swingers. Tell us about that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I spend a lot of my time uh, freelancing mm -hmm. with other people as mm -hmm. a side man, but uh, The Western Swingers takes up a lot of my time yeah. and a lot of my heart, too. Yeah. I love it so much. We play uh, Bob Will style Texas mm -hmm. swing music, which I think is so interesting and mm -hmm. fun. Um, and uh, we've been playing uh, every Monday night for almost 12 years wow. at Robert's Western World. Mm -hmm. Uh, and we also, we've made three different albums, which have won different awards from different people. That's great. We're really proud of them. And uh, uh, played a lot of gigs in other places mm -hmm. too, like Grand Ole Opry, and the Legends of Western Swing Festival <laughs> we go to every year yeah. out in Texas. So it's been a blast, yeah. That's great. Now, how did you get started with the Western Swingers? You know, I had thought, well, you know, I'd like to get, I was working in Nashville doing other things. Mm -hmm. And uh, I thought, well, I'd like to get more in the country music scene. Sure. And I thought, I bet if I played on Lower Broad, maybe I'd get to know more of the musicians yeah. who were playing gigs and stuff. Uh, but then I thought, I heard all these guys playing this incredible hot chicken picking <laughs> Telecaster. I thought, how am I going to compete with that? Mm. I thought, well, I can play some of that jazzy stuff yeah. that I always liked and that I learned in New York too, sure. studied more. Um, so we started, I said, ah, oh, Western Swing. It kind of combines mm -hmm. all those things that I love. And, um, so that's how that happened. That's so neat. Yeah, and it really that band is really is, is a partnership with my fiddler, or mm -hmm. my my partner, the fiddler, yeah. uh, Gene Merritt's yeah. pappy, uh, who's such a strong personality yeah. and a great uh, musician and singer. Open that gate for me. Open that gate. John, you keep very busy um, doing more freelancing stuff as well here in Nashville. Tell us about some of those things. Well, yeah. Uh, you know, they say if you want to uh, get ahead, you have to specialize. <laughs> but if you want to be, if you want to work, you should be versatile. And yeah. I kind of fall into that category okay. where I can read standard notation mm -hmm. and uh, I can read numbers charts. I can play by ear. I like to play a lot of different kinds of mm -hmm. music. I like to be a side man or I can work as a front man. Sure. And I love singing harmony with people. <laughs> Uh, and I, you know, I can sing lead in front mm -hmm. of the band too, if you need. So that's great. What are some of those bands that you freelance with? Uh, well, uh, there's a group called the Cadillacs I play with for years, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, the fellow who runs that band mm -hmm. also contracts things like musical theater okay, shows. Cool. And I've done some of those things yeah. for in Broadway type musical theater. Um, occasionally, I'll get record called to do a recording session. Mm -hmm. uh, I play with a band, a little rock and roll band called the Handsome Dogs. Okay. And, I've played with all the bands that do sort of society yeah. or party band yeah. work too. Nice. So. I'd like to show you a little walk-up lick going from G6 to C6. It goes like this. And I'm thinking the rhythm is one, two, three, four, like that. And I'm playing uh, half notes, in other words. And the voicings, I'm playing G6 like this, just three notes on each voicing. G, E, and B, and then I walk up to D7, A, F sharp, C, that's a secondary dominant for you music theory students. Then I'm playing uh, G diminished, B flat, 
G and D sharp, a uh, C sharp, and then I'm one more is a G with a third in the bass, B G D, and then I get land on C six. Sounds like this. And to play it together slow, it sounds like this. Well, John, tell us about some of the things that are coming up for you in the future. Um, some dates that you have, your website, and I think you have some CDs too with the Western Swingers, right? Yeah, well, the Western Swingers, uh, hopefully, will continue to play every Monday. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're planning to go out to Texas for the Legends of Western Swing cool. Festival. Have some other concert dates that we're looking forward nice. to. Uh, we have three albums. That okay. They're all happen to be available at <laughs> westernswingers.com. Okay. Uh, and some other places too. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, we're trying to we're work, working on the fourth album. That's great. Yeah. Well, John, it was so nice uh, to get to talk with you again. It's been a pleasure. My pleasure. Thank <laughs> you. Mm. Ha <laughs> ha! 